Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm the Bearded Soccer Mom and today we're going to discuss UIs and add-ons. So the first part of this that I'm going to talk about is my main general UI and for that I use LVUI. Now I use LVUI because it is extremely versatile and it offers me anything and everything that I could possibly want. You can set your hotbars up with it, you can set your nameplates up with it, you can even change your map around with it. Um, you can do quite a bit with it. You can move anything around anywhere you want, as you can see here. When it comes to customization of each single bar here, the options are endless. Uh, some things you can do is in the player frame, for you, you can set it so that it just says your name. You can set it so that it has a number. You can set it so that it uh, has a percentage of your health. You can change the colors of your health and when it goes and 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 changes. Uh, extremely versatile, really nice setup. Uh, it does have a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get it set up and get used to it, it goes lickety split. The next one that I use that has uh, quite a big impact, especially in Mythic Plus, uh, doing dungeons, is called Omni Cooldown. Now, Omni Cooldown tracks major cooldowns, which you can set which ones you want to track based on the class. So, as you can see here, I've got a little test up, and you can see I've got um, the Anti Magic Shell, as well as Icebound Fortitude, as well as uh, Vampiric Blood, right here. So these can be tracked, and anybody with Omni cooldown can set this up so they can track them, especially healers. Um, if they want to know if I have a cooldown or not, they can go and do that. I ran with a mage, who, a fire mage, who ran uh, combustion. So I would be able to track his combustion and time my pulls around it to a big pull because he has combustion, he can blow things up, and I wouldn't even have to ask him, hey, do you have this? It helps, especially if you're pugging as well, because you know exactly who is going to have what cooldowns when. Uh, the big thing, too, if you're in a coordinated group, like in Discord or, or whatnot, then you have the interrupt box here. Now, what that does is it tracks the interrupts for everybody in your group. So you can assign interrupts. Uh, think of the first boss in Temple of the Jade Serpent where you want to interrupt Hydro Lance. So if you say, okay, I'll take the first one, player A take the second, uh, player B take the third. Well, then you can still call them out. Hey, player A, you're next. Player B, you're next. It's extremely, extremely nice to have and really works well so that you don't miss a single interrupt. Now, the other add-on that I have that's really important is one that I actually had to go searching for to solve a problem that I had. The problem that I had was that I would lose my mouse and my cursor uh, during fights and everything else. So what I did was I started looking and I found a add-on called Cursor Trail. Now it's it's another versatile one, and what it does is it creates a trail. As you can see, I have blue lightning on mine. What it does is it creates a trail for around your mouse, so that you can track it. So for a blood decay, I cast death and decay. At, at my cursor so it doesn't just cast under me so what will happen is if I don't know where my mouse is I could cast it in the wrong spot wasting not only a cast a charge of death and decay but a rune as well which is extremely important with that um, you can also see that when it comes to LVUI um, I also set up my player power bar and my class bar. So these are going to show my um, my runic power as well as my runes available. Again, extremely versatile LVI. My next one is called details. You can see it in the bottom right hand corner. It is a damage meter, but on top of that, it can also track healing. It can track interrupts, it can track deaths, it can track damage taken. Um, you can even go and look to see what person damaged what enemy the most. So very, very versatile tool, extremely good for doing a spot check on who's doing what, whether in a group or a raid. My last add-on that I use, most people know, and it's called Weak Auras. Now this is probably the most powerful tool or add-on 
that is in World of Warcraft right now because it's so, so versatile. It can be set up in any way. Uh, for Blood Decay, I built my own uh, weak auras. And so if you like it, you can find it down in the description. And I'll put a link there for you so you can go and download it for yourself. As you can see, I got a little bit of everything here. I've got the major cooldowns. I've got timers for Dancing Rune Weapon and Bone Shield. I also have a timer for Bone Shield, or a uh, counter for Bone Shield, so you know exactly uh, how many charges you have. I've also associated a sound with it so that when you hit five or below, it sets off this sound so you know you need to refresh it. This white circle here is for Death and Decay, and it also has a sound associated with it. As it goes and uh, empties out, it will make a sound when it only has three seconds left telling you that you need to refresh Death and Decay. That way you don't always have to be staring at, your, at it to know when it's time to refresh. Up here, this portion in the top is a trigger that triggers when you get a crimson scourge proc so again you can still stare at your screen and not have to look at your buffs to know when you have that proc going so as you can see extremely extremely powerful and versatile and that's my ui